So this man is Perry D. Fermat. He was a lawyer and a mathematician back in his day. He started working on a theory called Fermat's Last Theorem. And you know, that's because, um, on January 12th, 1665, he died of an unexpected illness. <coughs> you know, even with him dead and gone and doing whatever he wants to do, people still try to figure out this theorem for a long, long, long time. Um, three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. This conjuncture was not intended to be a direct correlation to Fermont's last proof, yet it was later connected in 1986. Remember how just a second ago, I mentioned that in 1986, a link was made between the T Tenyama Shimra Well conjunction from Mont's last theorem? Well, this man did it. So in theory, all this Ken's Ribbit theorem thing that he made is just putting two and two together, saying that any set of four numbers could disprove the Tenyama Shura Wai conjunction and Fermont's last theorem. At least, what's come up with it. Alright, so after the hearing of Ken's success, this person named Andrew Wiles got the wild hair to start working on Fermont's last theorem as well as everyone else. After a couple of years of solving for this answer to Fermat's last theorem, he finally found one. In 1994, Wiles finally found and got the chance to present his findings. However, there was an error in his calculations, making him recheck his final solution only to later represent in 1995, this time getting it right. A while later, he would go to get many, many, many Nobel Prizes and other types of prizes, as well as $500,000 worth of money just for solving this one problem.